Right, good morning. Welcome to Bikes Blues on Rallies. I'm just out there filling up there. Well, stuck a ten around. There's one of them out pays you pay at the pump job. So at the pay your card and I don't know how much it's gonna hold, so I stuck a ten around it. And it takes a while for the fuel gauge to go up on this bike. Hopefully it will go up. Right, so I'm going to head over to Carling for today, just for a wee run. A couple of friends of mine's heading that way on their hardies, so I thought I'd take the triumph out just to be different. I'm sure they won't be impressed, like when they see me on the triumph. But it's looking a wee bit dull, so it might rain. It takes a fuel gauge while to go up, isn't it? Still reading empty. give you a choice of putting 10 pound in 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 up in tens and I don't think it would have held 20 so that's why I put 10 in if it would have just been an ordinary filling station I would have just filled the thing like but uh, 10 or 11 of the day I'm not going that far so I'll put in my new sat nav and a big shout out and a big thank you to John Galloway for the satin off mount that he made for me. It was a great job. So I put in my satin off to go to Carlingford on a put in back roads. So hopefully it will take me back roads, not down the dual carriageway. Yeah. Wouldn't know what the weather's gonna do today. One minute it's sunny, the next thing is very dark and cloudy looking. Got the wet gear just in case. So started my new job that there two weeks ago. So pity it didn't start it a couple of months back because I'm off every weekend now. Instead of instead of going to work for a couple of months at a time or a month, six weeks at a time, I only work Monday to Friday now. And of course coming into the shit weather, I'm not even going to be able to get out in the bike the weekends. And to make things even worse, I was come, I was in my car coming home from uh, Port Leash, I was going to a gig, and uh, the car just, I don't know what happened, I was just driving along at 70 miles an hour, and the next thing, it felt like I drove over, like a bump on the road or something, just went bump, bump, like out there, just like I drove over a bump on the road. And uh, the car just died, got her on the hard shoulder. Had to sit for six hours waiting for RSC to come and recover me. And then when they finally did come, the guy said to me, he says, I'm not going to be able to tow your car home tonight. But what I will do is give you my breakdown truck, or his van, his own personal van. And you can go home in that. I'll put your car on the back of the racker. And when I bring your car up, up, up to the garage up in the north, he says I'll drop your car off and I'll put my van onto the racker and take my van back home. So that was good of him. It wasn't his fault I was sitting there for six hours. He was only he was, he was in with me within within the hour like after they contacted him. It was the RSC that left me there to try to say I wasn't covered. I was covered through my insurance. So the car is turning over and all. It's a 7 Series BM, it's turning over and stuff. It just won't fire up. So I'm kind of hoping it's not the time about it. I don't think it would be. If it is, it's fucked the engine then. It's bent all the valves and stuff like that. I, I got a tow to a mate's garage and he put the laptop on on the. Uh, there's a few, it's brought a few faults up on the laptop, but the only one that would have made the car stop was a sensor for the cam. So hopefully that's all it is, it's just a sensor. So he's going to try one in on Monday to see does that cure the problem. Hopefully it will. If not, I'm going to have to look for a new car or a Jeep or a van or something. 
got coming into the bar, well, I'm not going to be able to oh, use the motorbike back. It's not ideal for going to work on of too much stuff to bring to work with me to be going on a bike. Got a big lunchbox. <laughs> but still there, some lads there from England, they're on the Triumph Desert Edition. Oh, my fuel's gone up now. So it has, thank God. Some lads on Facebook have a, a page there, it's a Tiger 1200 Desert Edition web page on Facebook. And I got chatting to some of those lads, and some of them follow me on, on YouTube as well, like. And uh, they've invited me, like, a few times now to meet up with them. But they were over here as well, I think, some of them. And just the way I work commitments and timing and stuff it never it hasn't happened yet like but hopefully we'll meet up and I think they're from in round Mark and Emily, Mark and Steve and I, I think they're in from in round uh, the Lake District I think I'm, I might be wrong like but I think that's where they're from but uh what about going down doing a tour of the lakes like some weekend could be next year now I'd say well it's not going to be great now from now on in probably I'm still loving the old Triumph great bike to ride about on comfort and I just love everything I love everything about this bike I can't I can't even think of a bad thing about it one bad thing about it and it's not even a bad thing like but I think the side stand should be longer because Jesus it's hard to pick up whatever you see when you've got going on tour and you've got all your bags full and the tent on and all your stuff on the bike and you're sitting on the side stand Jesus it's hard to get it up on the wheels to get it lifted up off the side stand what's going on here busy in Yuri today Yeah, so that's the only thing I don't like about this bike is it's hard to get it off the side stand when it's just fully loaded. You nearly need somebody to push you over. Oh, look at that straight down in front of all that, all that traffic. Eh? Yeah, why the fuck not sitting there? Not. People think you're not why sitting there and with a bike and all that traffic. bit further, not much. Don't know what's down here. Never been down here before. Maybe it's dead end maybe. Great going out the bike on a Sunday, you never know who you're going to meet. Oh, there's a chipper there. Well, I think it's just a wee dead end down here. I don't, I don't know, we'll go here and see. Got these kids passing the bike. There's a guy down the rear bit of hopping in there, the kid's on the... Alright. <laughs> yeah, I just take it easy, there's a lot of people about. <laughs> so I don't know where this takes you to, I've never been down here before. There's a house and he's doing up. A nice wee location there. Like I say, he's down around here, sitting looking out at the water. I don't even know if you're allowed to put her back down here or not, I'm sure you are. Didn't see any signs saying you weren't. But Jesus, it's getting warm now. Yeah, so. Enjoy chatting to those two lads there. 
and I've flown them from up around down there. The one's from around the lock, wherever the lock is. He must be talking about Frankfurt lock. And the other lad there, he's from Down Patrick area. This is getting tighter now. This could be a dead end up here. Don't know where I'll take you to. I'm not going to try it. Oh, there you go now. carried on down that weed dirt track there and you see it doesn't come out anywhere it's just a lot of people walking on it, it's very wide don't know if it's dead on so there's still more people walking see through that gate there yeah it's still going on oh, I'll probably take the out there so it does Oh, and the gate's closed. Oh, the gate's open. Yeah, so it takes you out there, so... Didn't miss much. I'm actually going to go up that road there and see where it takes me to. Don't know where this takes you to. That'll be the back road in the Carlingford. Oh my god, look at that for our houses. See, if you don't come up these wee roads, you never see these things. A big Honda Gold Wings at that house, not that there. Oh my god, some nice properties about. You can't go, you have to go this way, no problem. We shall do that. I think it takes you down into the main street in Carlingford. It's really a little small place, Carlingford, like. It's all lovely houses, huh? Yeah, I've seen be doing a bit of work around that castle there. to go left, no right turn. <coughs> well, there's them lads I was talking to earlier on. Uh, so we're going to have to do another lap now because we've come out at the top of the town. Well, do we lap and see, can we see Gary and Jacko knocking about somewhere? In fact, they might be down here in the car park. Oh, I'll probably get some stick now because I'm on the Triumph. Them boys was on their Harley, so ah, I don't care. I'd rather ride this bike. Keep a look out now for our Green Road King on us. I think he's got an electric play CVO. I'm sure he has. The traffic's a nightmare around here.
can we see the lights? Ah. There's not much parking about this place. I'd imagine now they'd be in that car park, are they going to be anywhere? Well, there's the three pubs, one there on the right, and there's one behind us, and PJ there on the left. And this is where all the stag do's and hen do's are, and around here. So we'll just go to the car park then because no sign of them yet. Oh, thank God he's moving out of my way. So I'll go and park up somewhere, maybe see the lad somewhere. There's that big old castle over there, I don't know the GoPro's picking that up or not. So we're just going down to Fitzpatrick's to watch this guy. So we're just going down to Fitzpatrick's here to meet up with Jacko and Gary. We're just down the road here a bit. and the bike sitting there. There's a 
just see because I don't see them anywhere. Getting the place all done up for Halloween. Well, well, girls, well, ladies, well, guy, Emma. See you there, lads. Interesting in there. Met up with Jacko and Gary and had a look around. The, the pub all done up for Halloween. I'll put some pictures up at the end of the video and let you see them. Uh, so I put in the twistiest route to get me home. So it's time to go down here and turn right over the mountain. So 
I've absolutely no idea where is that now it's going to take me so I'll just follow it anyway and we'll see see what kind of roads this is oh, this is going to be a teddy looking road <laughs> oh, a bit of off roading maybe I should have put in the twistiest road <laughs> no, got grass up the middle of it this one all about the adventure, see where work it takes you to turn right and then left left here, that's from his driveway is it? No. Oh, it's a nice house. Some nice places up around here. Must be going to take us up over these mountains here. Ah, so this must be where all the people and the money live. up these roads before now so absolutely no idea where this is going to take me to just need to watch those driveways somebody wouldn't come out and lights out Check on the left here. It's nice up around here. Bikers in there. Is that there in there? It's nice. Fast night. Turn left at the roundabout. I 
bunch of a twisty road stick us back on the bloody dual cage with thought I would have ran my right across them mountains behind that forest there there may be no road up there and then how did they get that communication centre pole thing up there whatever it is there must be roads up there somewhere Looks like it's going to piss it down we're in now. Some wet bits will be wiser. Well, I'll maybe make it to the filling station before we get too wet if the stuff keeps moving on. Here comes the rain. Well, this is Newry Town. That's the Butter Crane Shopping Centre. Thought he was in his pajamas there. now so I'm gonna pull in here and get a coffee and hopefully by that time it'll have passed or it'll have stopped dum, dum, dum. where shall I park when I used to park out of the rain like what I want to block the fuel pump so I'll just park up over here leave her in gear so she doesn't roll back down that hill oh yeah man not much I can do but that's going to get wet there but not much you can do about it. drop her in like 